Aloha Virgo, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for February 2021. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Please do check out your Moon and Rising Signs. That will give you an overall theme for the month of February. Thank you, thank you, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that bell button. Thank you again for those who have donated or left comments. All of those things help my channel to grow and expand. If you would like a private reading or energy alignment session with me personally, please do book that on my website, www.thewhisperingdragonfly.com, as well as my shop is live on the website to buy um, healing jewelry and other handmade items. Okay, let's get to your reading. Aloha Virgo, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for February 2020. Okay, so this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Please do check out your Moon and Rising Signs. That'll give you an overall view of your month ahead. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, remember this is a general reading. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I read intuitively, so if a story doesn't resonate, then it's not for you. That's okay. And you can just take what works for you. And if at any time you see the energies in this and want to, um, to change it, you are the creator and the master of your own universe. So you can assuredly change the outcome. Okay. We have... Our rune for the month is strength. This is saying you have the strength to move forward. Okay. We have Serapis Bay. This is Ascension. So this master, Senate Master, says move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. So you are going through an Ascension process. You have been Virgo for uh, quite some time. All of us have, but you guys have been really rapidly changing in, um, uh, a way that's somewhat different than some of the other signs okay and so that's been really nice to see so you are moving through an ascension process here okay we have the garden and the gate as your uh, card here this says abundant prosperity and staying safe so this says, um, upright, this card shows a peaceful young woman in a beautifully blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside the garden is locked while the girl wears a key on a chain around her neck. This card, upright, bodes well for the financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time. But be aware, the choice to stay in seeming security of this lovely garden may actually be motivated by habit or a fear of the unknown. The beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. While it's fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from living your truth. You have the choice to shift your focus, widen your spiritual perspective, and gain the world that is just outside your gate. Okay, so this is showing, look, you have the strength to ascend good money coming in, other pleasurable things coming in for you, okay? Um, we have Truth Be Told is the other card here. And this was in the prosperity position. Oh, sorry. It says, um, honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. There is the truth, which is the essence of a thing, and then there is a truth, subjective according to the philosophy of the her um, a believer. This is not a time for debate about which truth is truer. This is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication with others and with yourself. Nothing less than surrender to what is, peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied to an illusion will set you free. Be authentic and gloriously flawed and spirit will answer with miracles. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward there. And what it's saying is that you have the strength inner and outer 
in order to tell your truth, to make the adjustments, to ascend, because it's ascending you um, out of a broken heart. Okay, first card out's broken heart, so that's the that's the past. Okay, and that's you being tied up in old, darker energies that really weren't for you. Okay, how do you want this? Okay, how do you want this? Okay, um, yeah. So you're coming out of a time where you were feeling blind, um, had a lot of opinions circling around you. Okay. Yeah. So we had three of swords and two of swords. Okay. Um, you were blinded in some way in a relationship or a situation. And this is where you telling your truth, standing in your own power is the thing that's going to cut the cord with that. You're ascending beyond it, and so your truth it has changed even since being in that relationship, okay? Who you are, what's coming for you is so much better, but I feel like there is um, getting out of a denial, specifically about uh, around a relationship, um, does not have to be, um, love romance, but I do feel like for many of you it is just because the rest of the cards that have come out. Um, so this could be someone that um, you've broken up with, had a divorce with. Some of you may have been ghosted by a person. Okay, this wasn't meant to be um, primarily a love relation uh, reading, but that's what's kind of coming through here. And so, you know, what they're saying is those energies are dissipating. You're ascending beyond them because what we have next is Ace of Cups, um, Upright, and Queen of Swords in reverse. So I feel like you're learning to have your boundaries, but also to take that leap of faith because Ace of Cups is in your now. There is someone who would like to offer you their cup, okay? I feel like you're moving out of this brokenhearted energy and moving into allowing your heart to open again so that the people around you and the situations that that come to you are those that are loving and supportive with this queen of swords reversed i feel like you're learning to have appropriate boundaries where you're not allowing just any old thing in but you are allowing in the stuff that uh, and people and the energies that would support you i feel like um for some of you with this past you kind of put up um too large of a boundary okay um, and spirits asking you to ascend move beyond your comfort zone because outside of your comfort zone there is this really beautiful um, tender loving energy that's wanting to come forward whether that be in romance or friendships um, but it's definitely um, wanting to come forward so it's asking you to have appropriate boundaries okay boundaries where you're not taking shit from people and allowing too much to happen um, but also where you're allowing people to to get in too it's kind of like if you've locked yourself up in some sort of prison of your own making it's hard for anybody to get in that way and that's not necessarily healthy boundaries but a healthy boundary means that you're interdependent with someone rather than codependent. So I think in an effort to not be codependent, you kind of closed off a little too far. And then now Spirit's wanting you to come back into balance and to really tell the truth about uh, where you've been in denial in regards to your relationships, partnerships, how you relate to others, okay? Um, Ace of Wands next with the Moon. So there is a passionate new beginning coming in. I feel like that's coming from um, you seeing through the illusion. Okay, um, on the table we have air signs or we have cancer uh, as represented by the moon. Excuse me, that might be Pisces. Nope, that's cancer. And, um, and then queen of swords could be uh, Libra, Gemini, or uh, who's my other air? Aquarius. Okay. And so um, this Ace of Wands is saying there's a passionate new beginning. These two aces, you've got new beginnings that are wanting to show up for you. Okay. Um, 
but it is requiring you to, to get out of your comfort zone a little bit, Virgo. Um, this might be going somewhere that you didn't think that you wanted to go. Uh, you might meet someone um, for business or for romance because we have this Knight of Cups. So there is a love offer that's wanting to come in. That's the outcome, okay? And this is an offer really from the heart. So if you're not looking for love, um, Virgo, then this is something that's near and dear to your heart. So this offer is coming in. So this could be a dream job. This, um, But the cards are really indicating more of a um, relationship with, um, with romance in it. Um, but it's really showing you allowing yourself to get out of your comfort zone, to tell your truth. Um, really, it's like you're right there. It's just a matter of taking that, that key off and opening the gate, okay? To so take that key out from around your neck and open that gate there into the unknown. You have you can always come back to this beautiful garden that you've built. You can always come back to that but now you're expanding it. You're moving into the unknown um, so that you can ascend, so that you can have what you want. In order to have the manifestations that you've been asking for, you need to come up out of your comfort zone, Virgo. And it's really a simple reading this time. It's really just come out of your comfort zone, tell your truth, say what you need to say, okay? And tell the truth to yourself. What have you been in denial about on how you're relating with people Take responsibility for where you are on the program here, okay? And allow yourself to open up to these new possibilities. There's multiple doors that are wanting to open for you um, and, and multiple offers. There's people who are seeing you that are really um, impressed with you, but it takes you moving through that gate. So it's like moving through the door within yourself so that these new energies can present themselves so that these offers can be made to you. Um, it really starts by telling your truth what's in your heart, you know, taking that mask off, okay? Take the mask off. You can have boundaries, um, but you don't need to have walls that are so, <laughs> that are so high that nobody can get through them, right? So um, this looks really good. Virgo, you're ascending, and this is the next step, and you have the strength, um, inner and outer strength. Um, beautiful offers coming in for you in February, and so just release that that broken heart, release the the old way of thinking, okay? And how you do that is through through telling your truth, and through going through that gate, okay? So, all right, that's what I have for you. Virgo. So thank you so much. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and until next time, aloha.